What's going on YouTube? Clay Kizolt here with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus update video and I'm tired, I'm sleepy, I gotta get to work, but I had to make this video because I was so hyped and I want to get you guys hyped too, get you that information you need. So I wake up, uh, I look on Brave Exodus and then boom, all these updates are hitting us. So I want to say I'm going to be getting a lot of videos out to you guys to explain all this, but let's go over a brief first impressions of it. We get a new banner, so we're going to have two banners running side by side in the Final Fantasy 3 banner and then the Brave Frontier banner that's finally here. Do, 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 do. We did it guys, we got the Brave Frontier banner and you know a little extra surprise it's got a uh, five-star base on it, which the Japanese version didn't have, a global exclusive in Elza. Now, I've never played Bra Brave Frontier, but from what I've been hearing from my uh, viewers, you know, some of my colleagues, Elza's supposed to be pretty good, so I'm hoping on global she'll be great. Uh, you know, we get Tillith on this banner, which is the uh, huge, awesome waifu bay healer, the uh, best healer on the JP version right now at six-star. She's only at five-star heal sh here. She'll get another banner in the future. You know, to give her her six star, but here she's going to go to five star. So Refia will still reign supreme. She is Queen Waifu for a little bit longer. Don't worry, guys. And the other two units on this banner, sad to say, are not very good. They're mediocre at four star. But we'll get into that in my banner review. Just wanted to say how hyped I was about getting a new banner. Moving on, we have a new event uh, to coincide with the Brave Frontier. You know, you're going to be able to go to that Moogle King, trade in for the Metal Gigantoirs, trade in for them summoning tickets, and those six star materials you guys, I know you guys have been needing. Our new currency is called Karma. And, you know, you just grind for it. I know the new mechanic they're throwing into the game that was brought into the Japanese version. Now we're getting it is that if you use units from the banner that coincides with the event. So, for example, if you use anybody from the Brave Frontier banner that you happen to pull, you're going to get more karma or more of the currency. So, guys, I know it sounds like it's like, oh, Gumi's just trying to make us spend more money and get the banner units. I, it, it's going to be like that from now on. That could be true, but it's not Gumi. That was always in the game, from my understanding. It was in the Japanese version, too. So, it's just there as a way to make extra, a little bit extra more lapis if you do summon some of these units. Or not lapis, excuse me. A little more extra of the, uh, the karma, the actual currency. So, I think that will be in the events going forward from now on so that's something else I want to throw at you there's a lot of great stuff you can get from this we have some exclusive uh, of equipment things like that but I'll get into that inside the actual event video I just want to tell you guys what's going on with that event and that you're going to be able to get your six star materials in your summoning ticket stuff like that now this isn't the biggest news but we do get the gill snapper cave if you really really need gill and you have no other way to do it I guess you could farm it but other than that I really wish they'd just delete this like the gill snapper cave is just a waste of time what do we want Metal Gigantoirs. When do we want it? Every weekend. That's what I thought I heard you guys say. I was just making sure. Uh, another great update, which has got me so hyped. We're getting PvP, guys. That's right. Finally, Brave Exodus Global is getting their PvP, introducing the arena, and uh, the way this is going to work, guys, is we're instead of uh, three of the Coliseum points, we're going up to five, and the arena and the Coliseum both use the same number of points, and, uh, you know, one entry into the arena is one point, and it does refresh on leveling up, and I think it's every hour you get another one, so uh, it's going to be awesome. The way PvP is going to work, I'll give you a brief breakdown, before, and I'll have a better video later, is you're going to make a team of your own. And uh, put it up as your PvP team, and then other people can battle it. Now, a PC will control your PvP team, so it's not as PvP as you may think. You know, you're still against another team that somebody made, and you're against units of the game. However, they're not actually controlling it. And essentially, you'll battle it out. You'll have a rank. At the, uh, you'll have weekly rewards depending on your rank. You'll have uh, monthly rewards depending on your rank, which consists of like, uh, uh, excuse me, sorry, I'm so hyped. Trust Moogles. Uh, you know, there are some uh, limit break pots, limit burst pots, you get red summoning tickets to summon from a special PvP like summoning th uh, summoning like banner, and you get like stat pots, which will increase the stats of some of your units. I think it's permanently too. Uh, guys, and then there's daily rewards. These daily rewards include 40 lapis if you do four battles, one ether, and then a star quartz. Who doesn't want star quartz? So every day now you have more ways to earn lapis. Uh, you know, more ways to get those uh, summons in there, so it's amazing. And you have these uh, arena medals you can get, so you get more, I guess, for the higher rank you are and the higher opponent you fight. And, uh, you know, you use those. You have a little grid, and it looks like the Esper grid, and you'll just unlock things spinning your medals, and you'll get, you know, you'll get prizes by doing so. And then if you clear out the whole grid, it just resets and gives you a new grid. So it, it seems amazing to me. I'm super excited about it. I'll have a, you know, a nice PvP video once it releases, explaining how the fights go, the flow of things. But, uh, guys, you got to be hyped about this. And another thing that uh, apparently was removed, it was announced, and they're like, no, 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 we're going to take it out. But, of course, our people on Reddit, you know, you guys keep it up on Smart. Uh, 
is new missions. So essentially what's going to happen is all of your past story missions, your trial bosses, things like that, they're going to have like, I call them achievements. So essentially if you do a certain amount of things inside of these levels, you're going to get lapis, you're going to get rewards, you're going to get awesome items. So you're going to go back and redo the story missions, right? So you know, might say, hey, that's kind of boring, but I mean, more lapis, more rewards, guys. You know, you, you have a little extra things you can do in each of the places. You know, some of them might be like, don't use limit burst or uh, I know in some of the trial fights, it's like, don't take a friend or don't die. I don't use any items you get something awesome if you can be the trial boss without doing any of that so it's gonna be fun I don't know if it's still in this update coming out uh, on Thursday uh, remember guys I think Wednesday tomorrow is the maintenance so Thursday I think the arena is coming out and everything so just get hyped guys I had to make this video and uh, you know it's kind of like a quick explanation I'm talking fast I know all you guys want me to talk slower but whatever whatever this is just a super hype video so uh, if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below what how you feel about the new updates and if you're hyped for it and subscribe for my future videos covering all this stuff in more detail we'll catch you guys later or, or a $50 Google Store gift card or whatever if you're on Android and you guys can uh, get into the uh, giveaway by clicking the link below uh, it'll take you to a space where you sign up if you're following me on YouTube or subscribe to me on YouTube follow me on Twitch or follow me on Twitter you're gonna get extra